Hello everyone, my name is Magda. I am a cybersecurity professional and I have a confession to make. I have a huge crush on Zinedine Zidane. Do you know him? The former football player who coached Real Madrid to clinch the Champions League title. It was most dreamy. We prepared a charcuterie board while Good Days by Caesar played in the background. After we bonded over Lupin on Netflix. Ah, those were the good days. Oh, wait, did you buy that? Part of it? Some of it? Well, none of that is true. But the point is, you might have believed me. Why is that? Is it because I'm a speaker today or because I am a doctor and all of that? You trusted me, perhaps. Real Madrid, good days, Lupin and charcuterie board were globally the most trending terms in 2021 on Google. None of the trendiest searches online were about cybersecurity or information security. So how is it that cyber crime rates are higher than ever and people still care more about Real Madrid, Lupin and Charcuterie Board than they do about cybersecurity and cyber crime? That's right. It was not a coincidence that those words fell out of my mouth, No random words strung together to form the opening that seems to have little to do with that, what I really wish to talk about. I did my homework and those were, as I mentioned, the top searches. I made a conscious choice to address what the global audience cared about most, at least in the past year, as I couldn't quite come here, guns blazing, firing cybersecurity concepts from A to Z. And that's because when it comes to this topic, all the terms, concepts, explanations, the vast majority of internet users are outsiders. No, you might be wondering if you should even listen to me, another cybersecurity talk, blah, blah, blah. The truth is you don't have to but you might really want to. You see, I am the one who talked incessantly about cybersecurity, but I still got invited to all the parties. Well, at least I tend to think so. I am also the very same chief, chief information security officer who marches into male-dominated boardrooms selling the same counterintuitive narrative. There is no 100% security. Often, with meetings lasting more than the traditional 15 minutes given to cybersecurity in the boardrooms. And if you haven't yet tuned me out after everything I say, I'd say that lends me the sufficient support and let's get serious for a moment and really address the golden question of the day. How are we, the cybersecurity professionals, alienating people, you, when we talk about cybersecurity and how can we finally change that? Throughout all my years as a cybersecurity professional, I have struggled with this challenge myself, as many who came before me have. Time and again, I would walk into the classroom, boardroom, and push for best practices around cyber awareness, and so on and so forth, only to find myself sipping cocktails by my lonesome whenever the company events came around. Can you believe it? Of course you can. That is how it all started. Indeed, it seemed like almost let's talk cybersecurity was exactly what to say at the party if you wanted to spend the next couple of hours sipping your drink alone in a lonely corner. But because I'm passionate about cybersecurity, I could rumble for hours on end about MFA, SIM, AES, C2, C4, CERT, and that's what I used to do. It took me a while before I realized that I was boring and alienating my audience. And that's not something you want to do because let's be honest, you will not be listening to me if you are capital B-O-R-E-D. So at the end of the day, I, have, I would have wasted your time and my time and you will not be interested into cybersecurity. So instead of focusing on MFA, SIM, you get the idea, and et cetera, other acronyms, we cybersecurity professionals really should have been investing time and energy toward getting the audience interested to find out more about the why, and we cybersecurity professionals should have focused on the how. 
And make no mistake, my agenda here today is far beyond the high level talk and it's rather to convert the non-believers among you to the church of cybersecurity. Accept as much as I wish for you to walk away talking my words as a gospel, I have a mission. Empower all to start cybersecurity discussions now and today. People don't understand cybersecurity because we have been dealing with the topic from our own perspective and talking about it wrongly for years. What do I mean? Let's look at this news headline from an online magazine in February 2022. 100 million smartphone devices vulnerable to cryptographic key hack, widespread flows in hardware back key management could enable hackers to bypass FIDO2 authentication. I did that on purpose. I'm not sure I even understood this myself, of course, joking. Can you make sense of this? Probably not. What the magazine sought to inform its readers is that there is a technical weakness in some smartphone devices that allow cyber criminals to exploit and compromise the devices unless users updated them. I chose this example specifically because media communications are fundamental in raising cyber awareness, making cybersecurity relevant, increasing its importance as a social responsibility. Yet, it's doing a fine job of alienating the very audience it's trying to reach by presenting cybersecurity as if it were a known domain to all. The assumption that everyone from the layman to the expert would be able to understand cybersecurity in the same way does not hold. Now picture this instead, terrifying cybercrime after man poses as a fake candy salesman to kids. See the difference? Would that raise your attention and concerns? Would that bring the message clearly in your language? So is there a way to make cybersecurity simple and easy for everyone to understand? The answer is yes, definitely yes. However, addressing complex topics in a simplified manner isn't an easy task. I want to share with you today a framework I discovered that has been proven effective in my efforts to raise cyber awareness and change my professional life. It is the Cinefin framework created by Dave Snowden. Admittedly, it was conceptualized to aid decision-making, but hear me out. The Cinefin framework defines five domains that help managers identify how they perceive situations and make sense of their own and other people's behavior. Complex versus chaotic and complicated versus simple. The center of the framework is undefinable and therefore referred as disorder. The framework defines the simple domain as the domain of best practices, within which problems are well understood and solutions are evident. The right answer is self-evident and undisputed. My grandma, grandmother, for example, knows that she needs to lock her door before going out. This is the realm of known knowns where all parties share an understanding. If something goes wrong, you can usually identify the problem, door left open, categorize it, risk of a robbery, and respond appropriately, close your door. Basically, you are able to sense, categorize, respond, then apply best practice. Yet, the vast majority of 5 billion internet users worldwide do not have cyber or do not know how cybercrime looks like. For instance, when I say beware of phishing, you might wonder how does it look like, or at least you might not actually be able to recognize one. And even cybersecurity professionals have challenges sometimes. So let's rid ourselves from all the assumptions of what common knowledge is. Put it this way, if someone talks to me about nuclear power plants, mentioning pebble bed reactors in which the fuel is contained, silicon carbide, uranium oxide particles, and gas turbines, protecting those is critical. However, even if I am around, I will not understand how to achieve it because I am not an expert in that field. Cybersecurity concepts, crimes, and techniques are not within the realm of known knowns. 
we all struggle to sense, categorize, and respond to all scenarios, including even cybersecurity professionals who face channel challenges with the latest cyber attacks. So we need to stop talking about cybersecurity concepts and awareness as part of the simple domain or the domain of best practices only. The world is changing at a very high pace, and we do not know how the future will look like. We do not have an idea exactly how this may play out either. And it is a combination of all the things we have talked about, technology, its transformational effect of our individual or communal security that push us to consider that we simply cannot apply best practices with many unknowns for us and our audience. Those more difficult contexts in which we currently operate should be considered complex and even chaotic in certain scenarios. So what does it mean? Start your discussions discussing and uh, talking about cybersecurity today with anyone, with an understanding of roles, tools, and approaches for the complex domain. Shift away from the simple domain and best practices. And first, build relationships and work of, with patterns of interaction. Build relationships to help those exchanges. Do not focus only on fear and commitment, but actually try to build those exchanges. For example, do allow sharing of experiences and preliminary conversations to understand your audience and build the trust to finally define those patterns of interaction. Based on some research from 2002, we have four patterns that were identified collaborative, cooperative, facilitative, cooperative, and dominant passive. The comparison between all of those linked to the participants or learners' performance revealed that collaborative patterns were associated with better learning outcomes. Use it for cybersecurity discussions. Second, understand collective interpretation with sense-making. We cannot discuss best practices of applying MFA if our audience does not know what MFA stands for. We cannot talk about phishing protection unless people know how to sense a phishing attack. Patterns currently show or statistics show that users do not recognize cybercrime, but also do not have an understanding of common security controls like multi-factor authentication or MFA. Terms like MFA, the code that you receive, you know, after you enter your password over SMS or through an app, remain a mystery for most. According to a very interesting research uh, done by the National Cybersecurity Alliance and CybeSafe, nearly half, half of respondents across the US and UK never heard of MFA. And how many of you heard about enabling MFA? Did you even know? What did MFA stand for before today's talk? SEM applies for developers with concepts like hashing and encryption. Research shows that technology savvy people like developers might not have a clear understanding of all security concepts. Third, support communities of practice and add more degrees of freedom. A community of practice is a group of people who will actually go towards a common concern, set a, a group of problems, and try to get to that group goal. The concept of this community of practice is really valuable, not only to the sharing, but as well to the diffusion of knowledge and connecting people together. Perfect for cyber, right? Well, not that simple, but feasible. Start support, supporting cyber communities and provide the freedom of choice. For example, if your social circle is concerned about implementing Facebook privacy settings, let it be. It will facilitate further discussions about other topics. Do not close out opportunities for learning in the cyberspace, building a separation between professional and personal cybersecurity concepts. Fourth, act, learn, plan at the same time. We cybersecurity professionals should learn from you too. Yes, you, everyone. You are the ones who are experiencing new online scams and attacks. 
you are the ones who can share with us what is happening around you. And you, yes, you, the audience, you have likely already implemented security controls without even knowing it. For example, protecting your phone from theft, theft of data. So we need to act, learn and plan continuously, ensuring that feedback loop and not only looking at our silo world of cyber expert. Fifth, notice emergent directions and build on what works. If you have seen that one approach works, go forward with it. Do not ignore it. In October 2016, I ran a presentation for seniors in Singapore. I prepared a presentation with best practices, but the aunties and uncles, our seniors in my audience, were most curious about the state of security of their phones. They wanted to understand how to implement security settings on Facebook, on WhatsApp. Understandably, I did not present what I have prepared, but focused on what worked, addressing their concerns and practically showing them and sitting nearby to help them with those settings. It was an emerging direction and I followed it. If I would have continued my presentation addressing my topics, it would have been a failure. Ultimately, you and your audience might not care directly about cybersecurity, complicated terms and concepts, period. So facts don't change people's mind, emotions do. And the Cinefin framework can help you too. You, the cybersecurity professional. The cybersecurity or the Cinefin framework application in cybersecurity can make you look at the current context differently. As a standalone, it is merely a conceptual framework, but when it applied in cybersecurity, provides a structure and it allows you to think if your current way to discuss cybersecurity topics is the right one of understanding. So people, let me conclude with a task or a mission. I would like you today to go away from this talk, building what we call cyber intuition. You, as the audience, you need to start building that intuition that helps you to react online, no matter what you see. And you, cybersecurity professionals, take this opportunity to apply a structure and a framework to address and get the right result. So thank you very much for listening. This was Magda from Singapore.